Welcome back. To close our show, we have a very special guest today. Described by Blues Ma Blue Matters Magazine as one of the most talented guitarists in Britain, please welcome George Lamb. Thank you very much for being here today, George. It's a real pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here. So going back to your childhood, um, what made you pick up the guitar at 11 years old and how did you think your future was going to surround it so much? There was a piano in the house and a guitar when I was a young lad, um, about eight or nine. I started it messing about on the piano, took piano lessons, and then I started playing the guitar um, when I was about 11, 12 year old. And uh, I've just been in love with the instrument ever since. So, yeah. It's really interesting. Let's take you forward a bit into your 20s. You played with um, bands and all that called Southbound, and yeah. you were playing a load of gigs. How did you find that? How was that for you? It's great fun. Um, we, in those days, a long time ago, in the 70s, we, um, we had no sort of expectations to make it, to believe it or not. We just had great fun um, playing with mates, writing songs. Um, and going out and playing them, and we were very, very lucky, you know, and I continue to consider myself to be very lucky to this day, doing the same thing. Cool. Yeah. Well, that brings us to now, you're still performing. Yeah. Um, would you like to tell us more about your performance coming up at the fire station? Yes, the um, fire station gig, in lockdown, I've always written songs, but I invested in a digital recording studio um, <clears throat> and learned how to use it. I hadn't been able to use that technology prior to that. I've always written songs and used sort of basic stuff, but I embraced it and just wrote loads of songs, as I always have done. And um, I recorded you know, in excess of 50 songs. And I hadn't at that stage um, intended to have an album out, a solo album, because I played guitar and sung on lots of uh, various records and other people's albums. But I just thought I'd do it. And a couple of good friends of mine died and that sort of made me want to put an album out. So I put, uh, whittled the songs down to 12 songs. Uh, at that stage I was writing everything and singing everything, playing everything, like a one man band. And then I thought if I got some friends who have got to know musicians over the years, to sing on the album, uh, that would be something else. So I got in touch with them all, uh, waited with bated breath, and um, they all said yes, they'd love to do it. So they all recorded um, the vocals, um, a different vocalist on each song. Then I also got some friends of mine, one uh, is a guy from Deep Purple, um, Don Airy, he, I got in touch with him and he said he'd play some keyboards uh, on it, so he has. Um, and then <clears throat> when I recorded the album and produced it, I got the notion to try and play it live, knowing that it was going to be logistically a nightmare, trying to get all these working musicians to get the diaries synced up, uh, get a night at the fire station, because I decided to do it there, it's a, it's a great venue. Um, and it's all happening. So the all bar Don Airy, he's, he's playing with Deep Purple in Stockholm that night, I think, so he has an excuse, I suppose. But everybody else um, playing it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Well, thank you very much, George. Yeah. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Performing live for us now with his single, My Old Friend, from the album Families and Friends. Please give it up for George Lamb. Thank you.
your smiling face shone when you spoke your beautiful heart touched many folk those kindly eyes gently spoken words ever wise you'll never know how much I care My old friend 